How long are you going to wait? They told you to get your resume in order, to punch your ticket, to fit in, and to follow instructions. They told you to swallow your pride, not to follow your dream. They promised trinkets and prizes and possibly riches if you would just suck it up and be part of the system, if you would merely do what you were told and conform. They sold you debt and self-storage and reality TV shows. They sold your daughters and sons, too, all in exchange for what would happen later when it was your turn. It's your turn. You are not your career. Your ability to follow instructions is not the secret to your success. You are hiding your best work, your best insight, and your best self from us every day. We know how much you care, and it's a shame that the system works overtime to push you away from the people and the projects you care about. The world does not owe you a living, but just when you needed it, it has opened the door for you to make a difference. It's too bad that so much time has been wasted, but it would be unforgivable to wait any longer. You have the ability to contribute so much. We need you now. Does anyone have any suggestions? We've all heard this request at the end of a meeting. Sometimes the moderator even means it. Sometimes the moderator, the boss, the person with a problem, actually wants to know if the group has an untried concept or an insight to share. And the response is always the same. Silence. Sidelong glances, perhaps some shuffling of papers, but still, silence. Really? All these highly trained, well-paid, and respected people in a room, and not one person has something to contribute? I doubt it. Stick around for a few minutes, and if the moderator has earned any trust at all, someone speaks up. And if that person isn't summarily executed, someone else speaks up, and then more people, until finally the room is filled with energy, a buzz that you can feel. Finally, we're permitted to be human, to end the silence, to share our best work. Amazingly, everyone in the room is capable of seeing and analyzing and solving. Everyone in the room is capable of passion. Everyone in the room can care enough to do something if they can overthrow the self-induced, systematically amplified sensor that keeps them in line. Why didn't anyone speak up earlier? Why did we have to wait until the meeting was over? Where does the strained silence come from? This isn't a program for other people. This is a program for you. It's a program for anyone who has been overlooked or brainwashed or seduced into being invisible. A revolution is here, our revolution, and it is shining a light on what we've known deep down for a long time. You are capable of making a difference, of being bold, and of changing more than you are willing to admit. You are capable of making art. Green Eggs and Ham This might not work. This program might not hit its mark, or it might not be direct enough, or it might be too direct. I've gone outside my comfort zone in writing and recording it, and I'm hoping you'll go out of your comfort zone in listening to it. I'm trying to help you see something that's all around, but something that you may have missed, something you may be intentionally ignoring. I'm working to get more people to taste something they haven't wanted to taste, to experience a different way of working and thinking about the work we do. It's so tempting for me to smooth out the edges, to make this work safe and obvious and comforting. I wish I could make the program easy and guaranteed and reach everyone I want to reach. I can't do that, though. This revolution is too important to allow me to water down this project. Thank you for letting me take the risk of writing and recording this program. And thank you for taking the risk in giving it a try.